Today on Eagle Nation News, Maya Peterson will be in studio to recap key players from last week's football game and preview what is to come tonight. Christina Folsom features an incredible story of a former Prosper High School student and how he dealt with the crazy obstacles that life threw in his path. And Lauren Womack will be live in studio to talk about Kids Zania, a new and local place where children can hang out. Eagle Nation News starts right now. Good afternoon, Eagle Nation. Today is Friday, September 13th. I'm Casey Boston. And I'm Brenna Gibbons. Let's just go ahead and get right into today's show. Let's start off with Lauren Womack here in studio with your Talent Talk, sponsored by Corbridge Orthodontics. Some people have known what they have wanted to do since they were younger, but for others, like myself, you still don't know what you want to do. Kidzania gives kids the opportunity to explore over a hundred different career paths. This new attraction is coming to Stonebriar Mall in Frisco and will be a 7,500 square foot indoor city. Some of the partners include businesses such as Moo Y'all Burger, Planet Fitness, SMU, Spotify, WFA, Channel 8 News, Texas Health Resources, and many others. Kidzania is to help improve life skills such as communication, problem solving, creativity, and teamwork. This will give kids the opportunity to figure out what they want to do when they grow up. Now, I wish I could take a trip there to figure out what I want to do, but it is only open to ages 4 through 14. Let us know on Twitter what you think about this attraction coming to Frisco. Be sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Eagle Nation News. Well, that's all for your day. Back to you guys at the desk. As many of you know, school traffic can be a hassle. YASD has seen this firsthand with four students being hit by cars since the beginning of the school year. The school district is making some changes in order to keep safety as their number one priority. They are doing this by requiring students to take headphones out of their ears when crossing the crosswalk, having district staff members stand in the busier areas as an extra set of eyes, walking the bikes across the street, and wearing helmets every time they ride. Both students and parents are making an extra effort to keep everyone safe. 22 Greenpeace activists attempted to shut down the largest oil and gas channel in Houston by dangling from the Fred Hartman Bridge to protest the use of fossil fuels. Just hours ago, however, the protesters were arrested and taken into custody. Currently, they are waiting to hear about charges. Full moons come once a month, but what are the odds of it landing on Friday the 13th? Grant Johnson is in studio with your Fast Forecast. Thank you, Brenna. The current temperature is 87 degrees. However, the real field temperature is 96 with 6 mile an hour winds. So this is perfect for tonight's game against Flower Mound. The rest of the week will be in the mid to lower 90s and mostly sunny. Now today is Friday the 13th and to make it even better, better there is going to be a rare full moon tonight that will appear across the U.S. This moon is known as the Harvest Moon and it has not fallen on Friday the 13th since October 13, 2000. The next one isn't expected to happen again for another 30 years on August 13th, 2049. With your fast forecast, I'm Grant Johnson. Back to you guys at the desk. Up next, Christina Folsom will highlight the incredible story of a recent graduate of Prosper High School. Stay with us. We're open before and after school, during Eagle Time, and during all lunches. We offer chips, candy, drinks, and also spirit wear. <laughs> Ian Price is a recent graduate of Prosper High School that has been through his fair share of challenges that life has thrown at him. Christina Folsom sits down with Ian, his mother, caretaker, and friend to tell a story. They didn't think that he was going to make it. Uh, most people don't, um, and actually a lot of the kids that were there with him, they didn't make it. At just two years old, Ian Price was found to have a tumor the size of a baseball in his head. After noticing delays in Ian's development from the life-threatening cancer, surgeons worked to remove it. The likelihood of survival was slim, and they knew survival would mean future complications such as having difficulty with daily tasks as simple as walking. Ian, how many girlfriends do you have? Nine. 
Nine? I thought you had like 13. I changed it up. <laughs> Can you name them? Um, Plagia and Asia and Cat and Plagia. As made obvious through his love life, Ian enjoys daily activities just like any other person, if not more than that. With his caretaker, Keely Sorensen, Ian attends Taco Tuesday at Rosa's Cafe every week. Every, every Monday I get a text from him making sure that we're going to go to Taco Tuesday this week. And he loves to sit and eat tortillas while he watches his cars. There are a few um, locals who come, regular, come in regularly and they always talk to him and say hi to him. And um, they always want to know where he is if we do have to skip a Tuesday for any reason or switch our days. So. I like GMB and GTR. Not only does Ian love to watch cars, but one of Ian's favorite hobbies is awesome. yeah. The joy on his face is not just for looks. Ian is a genuine friend to anyone who crosses his path. He has created friendships with nearly every neighbor of his, simply from riding his iconic scooter around the neighborhood. I was outside shooting hoops, and then he drove up on his scooter, and he asked to play. He's always smiling. He's a great kid. He makes my day better. Comes over. Sometimes we shoot some hoops. He eats a lot of peanut butter and fluff. He devours that. He likes to wrestle me a lot. Ian's appreciation for life inspires others to acknowledge the small things in life and always look for positives in people. You're beautiful. I just want people to know that uh, he's, he's very likable. I mean, it's, if he'll talk to you, he'll talk to anybody, and you'll actually get more out of a relationship with, with him than he'll get, you know, he'll get out of it just because he's just so giving and caring, and he's just a good person. He, he, he meets everybody at their level, and he's very accepting of everyone, um, no matter what. He just, he thinks that everybody's, every person is just great. Despite his premature character, Ian perceives life just like anyone else without a disability. He is not ignorant to the world around him, and he is very observant. He is currently in the 18 plus class at the high school to grow his life skills and become a successful adult. For Eagle Nation News, I'm Christina Folsom. Prosper. Now Maya Peterson is in studio with more on football. Tonight will be our third Friday Night Lights as our Prosper Eagles face off against Flower Mound Jaguars. What to expect tonight? Well, the last two games, our defensive line has made big plays, such as Jordan Miles forcing a fumble from Timber Creek's kicker. Last game, to the big hits from Aiden Siano, Will Pendergrass, and Malachi Edwards, which have led to interceptions from Joshua Graham and big sacks from all three players. But as the boys say, they are a band of brothers, and with that, both sides of the ball are being taken care of. Week one, we saw starting running back JT Lane dominate by attacking each hole that was made for him by our O-line Jake Majors, Herman Lee, and Jackson Thedford. When we aren't giving it to JT, we have our quarterback Jackson Berry sharing the ball with Hayden Metcalf, who had a touchdown in week one, or Tyler Bailey, who had three touchdowns last week. Speaking of last week, Jackson himself ran in for a touchdown and stared down Timber Creek's defensive line, showing that our boys were made for this. So if you haven't been able to witness the show, our Eagles are putting on every Friday night. Tonight they'll be away at Flower Mound playing at 7. However, if you are not able to make it tonight, make sure you go and follow at Eagle Nation News where we'll be covering the game with live tweeting and quarter updates. Well, that's all I have for you today. If you want to hear more sports like this, make sure to tune in every day for a recap of sports from this past week. Back to you guys at the desk. Well, that's all the time we have for you today. For Eagle Nation News, I'm Brennan Gibbons. And I'm Casey Boston. Live long and prosper.